Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to do an example of a three-phase balance voltage system where we have a Y connection and a delta connection connected together and what we need to do is to find the delta voltage given our initial value of our voltage here which is in its Y connection. So let's see what this question asks us. Given that our Y voltage is 120 volts, our line impedance is at 10 ohms, and our load impedance is 10 ohms as well, determine VAB, or also known as our delta voltage. So what we need to do is to convert our delta to our Y value. And it's very, very simple. It's given two equations. First equation is to convert our delta impedance to our uh, y impedance. So that equation is simply this. That is it. What we do is we take the delta impedance and divide it by 3 and what we get is our y connection, y conversion. And for our voltage, that is simply this. Maybe I switched around. Yeah, I did. So what we do is we take the Y voltage this time, incline it by 30 degrees, and multiply it by square root of 3, and what we get is the delta voltage. So those are the two equations. And now we can take our circuit and find our Y connected, Y equivalent value given our delta situation in the beginning. So let's take our... I'm going to take this part and draw it out bigger so what we get is VAN is equal to 120 0 and then our line impedance what that is is 10 ohms and then our load impedance. Now this load impedance that I'm going to draw is not this. This is our load impedance in the delta connection. This load impedance is in the Y connection because it's N, right? So what we have to have is indicate like something, like an apostrophe to say that, okay, this load impedance is different from our load impedance in our in the situation that we're given in our in our question so what is this well this value is actually this value right here right because this is our y impedance and this is our delta impedance so in order to determine what this value is is we take that delta impedance and what we know is that it's 10 ohms right so what we do is take 10 divided by 3 and what we get is this fraction 10 over 3. So now that we got that, we can find our voltage here. Now this voltage, I'm going to find it first and I'm going to explain why it's important. So in order to do that, we take volt, the concept of voltage uh, division. So what we do is we have uh, an equation that is equal to VAN and then ZL that is our voltage equation and therefore what we get is 120 we sub in the values and in the end what we get is 30 
So now that I found this value, you might be wondering, why did I find it? Well, what we do know is that this voltage is actually our Y equivalent um, conversion of our delta voltage. The delta voltage that we're trying to find overall in, in this question. So how do we do that? Well, we take this equation. So what we do, I'm going to draw, I'm going to get a new blank piece of paper and write down our, our equation. So this delta voltage is what we have. That is equal to square root of 3. And in the end, what we get is we take square root of 3, multiply it by 30. And our answer would be, using our calculator, 51.96, 30 degrees V. So there we go. We found our voltage right here. VAB is equal to 51.96. And that is how we solved our three-phase balance voltage system Y-delta connection. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you next time.